Hello everyone. Good evening. Today I'm going to share about um, three things, right? Three critical phases that determine how beautiful your painting is going to be at the end. And this is basically based on an interaction that I was having one with one of my students who had this question, what is the phase that I should focus on most while painting? So to deep dive, three critical, three critical phases of your painting. Where, when should we be the most attentive? Right. The first thing is about the initiation phase. The initiation phase is where you are basically planning how you're going to approach your painting. Right. You have to plan the subject. You have to plan and understand the objective of your painting. What is the purpose of the painting? What is it that your painting has to achieve? Right. Understand the composition. Understand um, the composition through thumbnail studies, through rough sketches and then above all you know um, uh, design the color color scheme or the color palette as well now, all these are things that you do in the initial phases of your painting and, and it's most often referred to as the planning phase of your painting so that's very important because that gives you a headway into your painting and many a times i've seen artists getting stuck in the initial phase because they are not able to you know decide Right, so that's one topic that we will discuss on another day, where I can help you how to plan and uh, you know plan the uh, painting in a more efficient way. Now that phase is very important. So the next phase might be wondering. So is the completion phase? Yes, and you will be thinking that right after planning, why am I talking about completion? Well, I'm talking about importance in the reverse order right so uh, completion phase is very very important what do we do in the completion phase the completion phase is when most of the artists lose their patience right it is the time where you polish your diamond you have created you have unearthed a diamond now you have you have to polish it to give it the finishing touches to make sure that it shines when there, when there is sunshine, right? So you have to take a step back and look at your painting and evaluate bit by bit each and every square inch of your painting, right? And ensure that it's looking great. Not just that, you also have to look at the overall painting and make sure that there is harmony, there is balance between the left and the right, top and the bottom, and every bit, right? It's harmonized and everything is looking in sync. So that gives it the final polish, right? Now, so these are the two things. What are they? The initiation where you plan, the completion where you finish, right? You give it the edge, you give it the shine, what remains is the most important amongst everything that determines how beautiful your painting is going to be. And that is the ongoing phase, the part that is in the middle, the part where you don't get any dopamine boosts from the external world, where there is no one to clap, where there is no one to push you, where there is no one where you can go and say, oh, I'm starting a painting. No, it's the phase where you spend only with your painting. There exists only you and your painting and um, the rest of the world doesn't matter to you, right? That's the phase when uh, you're building it up in layers. You're building it up in bits and bits and pieces, right? You are the creator at that time and you are with your creation. You are unified. You, it is the time when you get to build a deep, intricate, intimate bond with your painting. 
and the more you converse the more you communicate with your painting um the more beautiful your painting will be this is the time when you actually fall in love with your painting right because you look at everything that is there on the canvas that can be there on the canvas without disturbing the harmony that is that is the time when you eliminate the redundance right that is the time when you add what is really needed and replace it with all the unnecessary components that might have creeped into your painting during the planning session and that's natural that is agility that you incorporate in your painting in the ongoing phase and this is the phase that is going to make or break your painting neither the beginning nor the end right because the making stage is where you add flesh to the skeleton of your painting and that's what determines the body of your painting so if somebody asks me what what is the most important or the three most important critical of oh, the three most critical i'm sorry three most critical phases of the painting i'm going to say initiation the completion and the most important is the ongoing phase where we most often lose focus because there is nobody else we lose patience and perseverance and that is when it is needed the most in order for us to make sure that every square inch of your painting actually looks beautiful and is is looking harmonious right so next time you have a very large and complex painting do make sure that you store in a lot of uh, patience and perseverance for going through the ongoing phase with a lot of determination and a lot of focus because that will make or break your painting so thank you and have a great day bye bye